I want to talk to you about the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker. A couple months ago, I took the test and I have answered so many questions about my testing experience since that I figured I'd answer the most common. Now, first and foremost, the question I get the most is, is it like the Security Plus from CompTIA? No, it's really not. It does have similarities. They are both security related tests. So not to say that you're not going to see some similar study content, meaning if you are studying for one, you might want to think about studying for the other if they're both on your list of certifications uh, that you're targeting. But the tests have different objectives. They have different learning styles that I would apply, and they definitely have a different focus in how they answer or how they ask the questions. Now, that being said, for those of you who have taken CompTIA exams in the past, you are very familiar with their questioning style, the multiple choice, the most, least, best, worst, first, or last type scenarios that they ask. But CEH was really more almost sim related, but still in a multiple choice environment. So what I saw, and not exact things, but as far as the differences in the testing, I really saw more of uh, how this works or what type of malware is this, where they would show you an example. So I felt like it was testing me on a deeper level, to be honest, but only in certain focus areas. I didn't feel that I was being tested on depth of defense or different areas of defense that CompTIA really focuses on as far as physical security, information or data security, administrative controls. I did not feel that that was really covered in depth on the CEH. We we're more so looking at how do you do research, footprinting, uh, how do you implement some of the steps in the hacking process, how to defend yourself or even notice that something is happening, um, looking at logs and being able to identify what type of information and data is in front of you. I felt like there was so much more of that, understanding an in-depth example more so than just an overall concept or a piece of vocabulary, meaning what does this mean? Or can you correlate this word and relate it to another word? I feel like there's a lot of that with CompTIA. And I, I do appreciate CompTIA's style. They do test knowledge, but this was very different from EC Council. Specifically, I would take some time and look at the what type of malware there are out there. There are many types of malware, right? We're talking viruses, worms, rootkits, and then also looking at what type of attacks are viable through websites. I saw a lot of questions about looking at uh, cross-site scripting and forgery, noticing the differences between those two, how to protect uh, different end users and different size users even and different devices. So it's not just about the end user, not just the laptops, not just the mobile phones, but we're talking about servers and different types of servers as well. A whole different area that I saw more of than I expected to um, was taking a look at the different steps in preparing for hacking and the different types of hacking. Of course, there is gray box, white box, and black box hacking, um, and we're all in the same range as far as white hat hacking. Not really a lot of malicious uh, intention there. Obviously, it's a certified ethical, ethical being the keyword, hacker uh, exam and process. Uh, so I did expect more um, black hat type questions or at least preparation that I didn't see, um, but I did see a lot more of the how to and how to prep for uh, having the ethical hacking side. So I don't know why that was a surprise to me, but I did feel like uh, there would be more questions on how to defend ourselves against black hat hackers and it really did not focus on that at all. So obviously with any test, I always suggest taking a look at the objectives, taking a look at what other people's review and experience has been, because we don't all get the exact same test. Uh, but the question that I get so often and that I wanted to answer is, is this test just like the Security Plus? And I'm gonna say no. And I would also recommend that if you're out there gathering your cer security certificates, security certifications. Uh, I would recommend going after both. To be honest, I have both now. I can definitely say that they have different focus points. Um, depending on what job you're going after, one may be more appropriate than the other, but your resume will look great.
Anyways, subscribe. I'll put the link right here. You see it? And uh, I will see you soon.